So how many times can you patch a tube before you actually should just buy a new inner tube? Well, let's find out. Today, I got a flat as I sometimes do, and I pulled out the tube and someone said, holy cow, man, there's more patches on that than, uh, than tube. These are the types of patches that I like. I don't like the ones where you stick on. They just don't, they, they'll get you home, but I like these much better. And the reason I like these a lot better is simply because they last forever. So let's count how many patches I have on this tube. Now, by the way, the other tube that I put in my, on my bike, um, that had probably like 11 patches and uh, that was the one that I had in my bag. So let's see here. I'm gonna start here. We're gonna start counting as we go along. All right, there's one, two, three, and these are like on opposite sides. That's three, right? Okay. Well, that's not that bad. Three, four, five, six. Six patches on these things. Now, how come you just don't buy a new tube? The answer is because at some point your kids are going to need braces. You're going to need expensive stuff like uh, squirt wax or something like that. You're also going to want to get electrolytes. So you're eventually going to need those. You're going to want new bike crap. And why spend money on something that has no real benefit is the way I look at it. And also you're going to need to have money for your chiropractor because if you ride a bike, I don't know how, you, how people live without seeing a chiropractor. A chiropractor just makes your life that much better. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this back into the little pack. How I do it is I'm going to put the, uh, the valve here. Let me open it up. There we go. I'm going to put the valve at the end and I'm going to start milking the air out of the tube, okay? Just like this. And then as I milk it out, it's gonna start accumulating air in the bottom, right here. And just like this. Now, this might for some people be really gross but you can clean this if you want. I'm gonna suck the air out of it, just like this, and then tighten the valve. Listen, I'm sure you've put worse things in your mouth. <laughs> and then I'm gonna let it go. Now there's no air in it. Now I'm gonna take the valve and put it in like this, and then I'm gonna start folding around it. And there should not be that much air inside the tube and that way when you get the air out this protects the valve so the valve doesn't mess up or do anything bad to the inside part and look at that it just fits right there and what I do to keep it secure so I'm gonna put it in inside a little sandwich baggie that's how easy it is so how many holes can be uh, fixed inside an inner tube the, uh, the answer is many. Save your money for some good stuff for cycling. But you're probably going to have some expensive uh, hospital bills as well. See? It's in there. Ready to go till next time. I know what you're thinking right now. Is he going to actually eat his greens? Is he going to eat this grass? The answer is no. I only eat organic grass that hasn't been pooped on by our neighbor's dogs. How do I get all my magnesium if I'm not eating all this grass? I take Magnesium Breakthrough by Bioptimizers. Two tablets is 500 milligrams of magnesium. There are seven different types of magnesium in each tablet. Fantastic product. There will be a link and a discount code down below in the description. Is that the neighbor that keeps pooping? Someone keeps pooping on our front lawn.